This video demonstrates how we can carry out a ANOVA test using Excel stat. ANOVA stands for Analysis of Variance. It's commonly used when we try to compare multiple population averages, and the number of populations is more than two. If it is two, we're going to use a two-sample t-test. If it's one, we're going to use a one-sample test. When the number of populations is more than two, for example, three, four, five onwards, we would have to use the ANOVA. I'm going to use this example as a demonstration. For example, we have, a, we have customer ratings across different travel class. So I have travel class, which is one, two, and three here. They can correspond to economy, business, and first class, respectively. I also have each passenger's satisfaction rating score. It's on the scale of 1 to 7. So hopefully you will agree with me. The rating is actually a numerical variable, whereas the travel class, it is a categorical variable. So for each category, we can compute a one, one sample average, and we try to compare whether there is any difference between the population averages from those three populations. I'm going to fill the blanks here. The number of travel class, it is three. It is more than two, so we can no longer use two sample test. And number of travel class. Okay, so we are going to carry out a NOVA test using this data set and Excel stat. Let's start. Okay, so first is we're going to go, we're going to click on modeling data, ANOVA. Okay. There is a dialog box. I would recommend you to reset it first. Okay. And I'm going to, so you, we were asked what the data format is. Is it a column or is table? Our data is arranged in terms of columns. So I'm going to select column. And the next one is why, what is the dependent variable? So the dependent variable here refers to the customer satisfaction score. Because we try to compare whether the satisfaction ratings are the same or not across three classes. So why the dependent variable is going to be the rating. I'm going to select column A. And the next one is X, which is explanatory variable. And we have explanatory variable here that refers to travel class. Okay, so there are two choices here. We were asked whether our explanatory variable is it quantitative that means it's numerical, or it is a categorical, that means it's a qualitative. Even though the travel classes are marked as one, two, three, but in reality, they should be labeled as a first class economy and business. So they are actually categorical. So I'm gonna choose qualitative here. I'm gonna choose this travel class. Do we have variable labels? Yes, we do. We have the ratings and travel class here. I'm going to move on to options. Okay, I'm just going to uncheck all of them here except the confidence interval. I'm going to leave it as 95. Everything, I don't have to change any of the default settings. Validation. We don't want to do any validation. Make sure it is unchecked. Do we want to do any prediction? We don't want to do any prediction. Missing data. And uh, we are going to remove the observations across all Ys. That means whenever there's any empty uh, value, empty cells here, we're going to remove that uh, that entire row outputs. Okay, do we need a descriptive statistics? That might be useful, yes. Correlation, I'm going to uncheck it here. Analysis of variance. So this is very, very important because we try to carry out a NOVA test. So we do have to make sure this is checked. Standardized coefficient, not very useful. I'm going to uncheck all of those. Okay, and uh, we were asked, how about the means? If you click on, if you click on outputs under under outputs tab, there are some means. You can uncheck those. You can also leave them checked, but they are not going to be very uh, useful here. And for charts, we don't want to. We don't want any of those. Okay, so now you can click OK. Continue, and all the outputs are saved on the next worksheet. I like to I like to disable all the grid grid lines, so I'm gonna click on here. Okay, so let's take a look what we have here. 
So we have three travel classes, one, two, three. We have nine passengers from the first travel class and 14 from the second one, 11 from the last one. We have their relative frequency here. You can also expand it a little bit more to make sure the wording is showing properly. The next table is not very relevant. And we want to focus on this one, which is this analysis of variance. So this is the table we need for ANOVA test. It gives us the, the source of variation, model, error, and also total. There are corresponding degrees of freedom. We have 34 observations in total. We have 34 of them. You can double check here. So 35 rows because one row is reserved for header. So we have 34 passengers here. So 34. And the total degrees of freedom, it should be sample size minus 1. That's going to be 34 minus 1, 33. We have their corresponding sum of squares, mean squares, and F test. For ANOVA test, the test statistic is going to follow F distribution. So the test statistic is an F score, which is 0.2. And Excel stack computes the p-value for us corresponding to 0.2, which is about 82%, 0.82. This is a really high p-value. That means we are going to fail reject the null. And the null is going to say the population averages across the three popu uh, populations are the same. So there is no difference in terms of their customer satisfaction scores across three different travel classes. Okay. And uh, this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.